Hi, my name is Josh with Kids Ministry Tools, and in this object lesson, we're going to talk about Father's Day. Let's get right into it. <laughs> I am a father. I have four children and one on the way that'll be here any day now. And uh, so we have Andrew, Elijah, Abigail, Isaac, and Elizabeth is on the way. So with Father's Day coming up, we decided to do a Father's Day object lesson slash Sunday school lesson. The Bible says in Proverbs chapter 17 and verse number six, children's children are the crown of old men and the glory of children are their fathers. So that being said, children glory in their father. Most of the time when kids go to school, we, we brag on our dad. We're like, man, my dad works here, or my dad does this, or my dad, he does all of these things. Well, there are some things that remind me of my dad, such as a tool bag. Have you ever seen a tool bag before? Oh, yeah. And inside the tool bag are what? That's right, tools. And now we're not supposed to touch our dad's tools. And for the sake of this object lesson, I took all the batteries out of these. We're not supposed to mess with dad's tools. But on that note, let's look at the tools and see what they remind us of with dad. Ready, here we go. First out of the bag, I find a hammer. What is this? A hammer. A hammer reminds me of all the hard things that dad has to tackle, such as mowing the lawn and weed eating and uh, working so hard at work. The hammer reminds me of the hard things dad has to tackle. What are some other things inside of the tool bag you might find? How about a tape measure? A tape measure reminds me that dad likes to keep things just so, on the measuring tape, it keeps everything in order. It makes sure that everything is ruled just right. And a father makes sure that his home is ruled just right. What are some other things on the cart? Well, you might find a flashlight. A flashlight, here, I'll put a battery on this one. This would be, that'd be okay. A flashlight, and what it does, woo, woo. it shines and lights things up. Do you know how a flashlight reminds me of dad? Well, flashlight reminds me of dad because a flashlight lights up items that you would not have been able to otherwise see. And dad does that, doesn't he? He brings to light things that otherwise you wouldn't understand or you wouldn't be able to see. That's how the flashlight reminds me of dad. It's like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what are some other things up here? How about a drill? Oh yes, we'll leave the battery off of this one. But a drill, what does a drill do? Well, it binds things together with the screw. When you drill it in, it keeps those two boards together. You know, the drill reminds me of dad in the sense of dad likes to help make sure that the family stays together and he helps bind the family together. And that's what a dad does. Another reason you could be thankful for your dad. What's another thing that you might find in the tool bag? Well, maybe you'll find some tape. You know what tape makes me think of? Tape many times covers things that otherwise would hurt us, especially things like electrical tape. Yeah, electrical tape helps cover the electric current that otherwise would shock us if we touched it. And that's exactly what dad does. He likes to cover the things that otherwise, if we touched, would hurt us. You know, there's reasons why dad said, I want you to go to bed at this time. There's reasons why dad says, I don't want you messing with this video game. There's reasons why dad says, I don't want you watching that TV show. He's trying to cover the things that otherwise would hurt you. Yep, <laughs> reminds me of tape. And there's other things on this cart, such as a saw, right? Don't you dare touch your dad's saw. But what does a saw remind me of dad? about. You know what a saw does? It does multiple things. One of the things it does is it cuts out the rot. It cuts out the bad part of a deck or a piece of wood or even a piece of metal that may have rusted. A saw cuts out all the bad. A dad tries to help make sure to cut out the evil in our life. Proverbs was written mostly to Rehoboam and mostly was written from Solomon written to his son. Over and over again, we see, my son, hear the words of thy father and forsake not the law of thy mother. But over and over again, it's from a father to a son. And he's trying to cut out and make sure that all the bad stuff stays away. You know what another thing a saw does? It cuts off the excess. When things get too heavy and things are too much upon you, you know what a dad does? A dad notices that and he cares and he says, you know, that's too much, let me help you with that. And he lightens the load. And there, that's what a saw is for. It helps lighten the load, helps cut off the edge of things that don't need to be there anymore, right? Excess. What are some other things? How about this? An extension cord, right? 
An extension cord. What does an extension cord do? An extension cord extends power from one point to another. You know what dad does? He goes to work to bring home money to help provide for the family. Just like the power plugs into the wall and it provides power to wherever it's going on the other end, that's what a dad does. He goes to work so that he can work hard, earn money, and provide for the other end, which is home. Dad helps provide. That kind of reminds me of a battery. You know what a battery reminds me of? A battery reminds me of dad likes to make sure everybody has what they need at home. You know what a battery does? A battery can die. This battery is dead. And you would have to plug this battery in in order for it to work again. For instance, here we go. I put it on the drill. Nothing happens because it's dead. I mean, it lights up a little bit, but you give it a little bit longer and that light won't even light up. You know, there's sometimes where we're just tired and we have no way of finishing and dad comes along and that reminds me of this charger that I have down here. And we get to plug into dad's energy. We get to plug into dad and when dad gets home, it's very refreshing. When dad comes home, it's like, yay! I know when I get home, my kids run up to the door. It's like, dad's home, yeah! So all these things and many more that are in a tool bag can remind you of your father and all the things dad does to make sure that you are safe, to make sure you're taken care of, provided for. The Bible says that we're supposed to take care, the father is supposed to take care of their own. Do the best you can as a father, take care of your own. And kids, let's learn to be thankful for our fathers. Here on Father's Day coming up, let's make sure that we're thankful for our father. Let's do something extra special for him this year. Maybe you can write him a card. Maybe you can color him a picture. Maybe you can go through and work around the house and do like an IOU, IOU mowing the lawn. And if dad allows you to mow the lawn, or maybe you could do like a spin the wheel and it, he gets to pick from one of the items that it lands on. Uh, we've done that too. Many options out there, but do something for your father. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, smash the like button. And if you really like it, subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.